In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a time sequence that you could use in a list of drop down menus in Google Sheets. So let's get started. So imagine you've got an input form and you want to create a custom drop down list of times that are separated by a single minute. Let's have a look here. So I've got a start time and I've got my drop down list here. And we see we've got zero, we've got 2.28 a.m. in the morning. And I could type in any value here. I could say 07.35, and that will come up with a handy list. Alternatively, I could use this handy drop down and scroll down to a value that I need and change the value from here. Then I could change the same again here. So that might make things a bit easier for your users to make selections for their start and end times. So how did we do it? All right, let's get started. So we've got a set of times here, so a start time and an end time that we want to apply our drop down menu to. Let's create a new sheet and we'll hide the sheet a little later, but this is just going to be our notes sheet. So we'll call this notes. And then I'm going to go up to the top here. This column A is where we're going to put in our list of times. Now we're not just going to manually type in 00 00 00 00 01 all the way through. That would take forever. We're going to use a sneaky little formula. And to work out the formula, I'll break it down into small steps. So first I'm just going to move over to this column C here. And the first thing we need to know is how many rows or how many minutes there are in an entire day or 24 hour period. So to work that out, all we need to do is go equals and we put in 60 for 60 minutes in an hour. And we multiply that by how many hours there are in a 24 hour period. And that gives us 1,440 then we can use that to create a sequence of numbers. So let's go over here in column E, let's uh, grab, I'm gonna hold shift down just to make things easier. B, D, I'm gonna hold control, just all these alternate ones and make these a bit smaller and use them as separators. All right, cool. All right, so the next thing we need to create is a sequence. Let's go equals sequence, we'll use a sequence function here. And the sequence function first takes how many rows that we're going to use. So I could go over and just simply click this C1, but let's put everything in the one place and we'll use our 60 multiplied by 24 to give our 1140 rows. And then we'll hit comma to get to the next option. And that's asking us how many columns we want. Well, we just want one column. So we'll keep that as is and then we move on to our next option with a comma and what are we starting at? Well, we want to start at zero which is going to be midnight and then our next option is steps at each stage How many steps do you want to go up as a number? So we'll use one step as a number Now this isn't going to get our time separation, but it will funnily enough step us in the right direction Oh, that's a terrible joke, but we'll live with it. So we'll close that brackets and then we'll see what results so as you can see, this is, gives us a list of steps from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I click on here and hit Control shift down to the bottom, it gets us down to 1, 4, 3, 9, which is correct because we started at 0. If we started at 1, it'd be 1, 4, 4, 0. All right, let's head back up to the top. Okay, so we've got this sequence sorted out. We've got the right amount here. But we need to get our times for each one of these items here instead of just the numbers. So how do we do this? Well, first I'm gonna let you in on a little secret about times in Google Sheets. These times here are displayed as a decimal point. So to prove that, I'm gonna go equals and type in value, and I'm gonna click on one of these for you. And that's gonna give me 0 0.66180 up to 10 decimal places. So if I do, B2, it's going to give me another number. And that one's slightly higher in our decimal places. So let's head back to our notes. So basically, a time is stored in Google Sheets anywhere from 0 through to 1. So we need to divide 1 by this 1440 to get the decimal fraction of each point in this list. Okay, so let's get this portion of one and let's start by going equals. 
and we are going to go 1, which is our total, divided by, and it's just simply our 60 again, multiplied by our 24 hours, so our 60 minutes by our 24 hours, and that's going to give us our portion of hours. So we want each one of these to increment by this amount in our list. Instead of being 0, instead of being 1, we want the next one to increment up to 0 0.000694 with lots of fours afterwards. And then double this one for this one, and then increment by this one again, and increment again, and so on. Okay, cool. So how do we do that? Well, our next step is to combine our sequence formula with something called array formula. So here I'm going to hit equals, and I'm going to type in array formula, and you can see it popping up there. Let's just click on that. This array formula allows us to apply calculations to an entire array of data instead of a single cell. So because we've created an entire uh, column of data with our sequence, we can now apply our formula to it, which is going to be multiplying each one of these numbers by this value here. So next step, we'll add in our sequence formula. So let's do it again, just for good practice. We're going to say sequence it is again and our row is going to be our 60 minutes multiplied by 24 hours and that's going to give us how many rows we'll use and we only want one column we'll start at zero and our steps will be in one minute increments all steps will be in one we'll work out the minute increments in a minute won't we okay so that's our sequence done and then the next thing we need to do is multiply this by this value here we've calculated in G1. So our formula again for that was 1 divided by, and we'll put it in brackets here, our 60 multiplied by 24 hours and close the brackets. Nope. And we'll close the brackets on the entire array formula here and hit enter. Now this is broken down from 0 to 1 into 1140 fragments here. So what we can do with this 1140 fragments is to use formatting on it. So before we do that, all we're going to do is copy this over to our actual working column A cell. So I'm going to select this range here. So I've just selected I1 and I'm going to go up to the formula bar here and select it all. Hit Control C to copy, go into A1 and hit and select the formula again and hit control v to paste and hit enter we've got the same thing here and here cool so now let's apply our formatting to it so i'm going to select the entire column of column a and then go up to format here and down to number and then i'm going to head down to this time format here so now you can see time format is set here to hours minutes and seconds now you could go down and use custom date and time but it's not going to make any difference in your drop down menu so just go up here and use this time format here and select it and now you can see that the time format has been changed into hours and minutes and seconds and we can scroll down for 1040 cells and you can see that it's all been updated. Cool. So now that we've got that, we've got our working out here. We don't really need this anymore. So I'm going to select uh, column C and, and hold shift down and go to column, let's go column K because it's unnecessary and right click and hit delete columns. Cool. And now I'm going to go back to my tutorial tab where I've got my information in. And I'm going to click A2, hold shift down and click B2, go up to data. Select data validation, and we're going to keep this list from a range. I'm going to grab that range, so I'm going to select data range here, head back over to my notes, and select column A, and hit OK. And let's say yes, we want to show our drop down list because that's going to be helpful. Let's reject any input because we only want minutes or hours, and let's show validation help, and we'll say select our time keep it nice and simple and we'll hit save great so we should be able to hide this now we don't need it displayed anymore so we'll click uh, we'll right click notes we can use this drop down menu here and click hide sheets go back to our tutorial now we've got our drop down list here and we can see that it's working 
all hunky dory. Great. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to get fragments of time. So it could be, say, from 2 p.m. all the way through to 8 p.m. Or how to step time in five minute intervals, 10 minute intervals, half an hour intervals, or hourly. So, uh, so if you think that's interesting, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like the video and click on that notification bell to get a notification of when that tutorial is going to come out for you. Until next time.